31 years ago, four LAPD officers were acquitted of the brutal beating of 25-year-old Rodney King, sparking one of the most turbulent chapters in Los Angeles' history and sending shockwaves throughout the U.S. But when it comes to police reform, what, if anything, changed since that night? Evidently, not a whole lot, according to King's daughter. 30 plus years later, we're still here. The only difference between then and now is clear cameras and hashtags. Laura Danae King was only seven years old when her father was attacked by four LAPD officers for several minutes following a high-speed chase in Los Angeles. Multiple other officers stood by and watched the beating occur. King suffered several broken bones, broken teeth, skull fractures, and permanent brain damage. When Laura visited her father in the hospital, I didn't recognize him. He didn't look anything like what he looked before the beating, and he never recovered from that. He never, ever recovered. Video of the beating was shown widely and is considered one of the first viral videos to capture police violence against a black person. Everywhere you went, literally everybody was watching this. There was no escaping it. And so I just knew for sure that those officers were going to go to jail for life. Four of the officers were tried in King's beating and on April 29th, 1992, they were acquitted. Hours later, the riots began. For Laura, as a young child, it was confusing. The scenes, she says, were like something out of the kind of movies she wasn't allowed to watch. The day of the verdict, when we went outside, we noticed that literally the clouds were like smoky and we walked to the corner and there was no store. It was literally on fire. I would see tanks going down the street because people were rioting. The acquittal over King's beating sparked more than five days of unrest, which caused the deaths of more than 50 people, at least 2,000 injuries, thousands of arrests, and roughly $1 billion in damages. Three days into the riots, Rodney King publicly asked rioters, Can we, can we all get along? Can we, can we get along? I was eight when my dad made that statement, and we're still asking the question. That question is at the core of the Rodney King Foundation, a nonprofit founded by Laura and her father's honor to promote positive race relations and achieve social justice. Among other things, the foundation works with youth, hosts toy and shoe drives, and meets with officers in the community. We want to show the world that you can sit down and have uncomfortable conversations. We don't have to agree to, to figure out this is the problem, this is the solution. I feel like it's my job to show the world that we can get along 